Um, I'm with Pastor Newton Inzai. Uh, Inzai, this is live from Los Angeles. And uh, welcome to our live show. Uh, share this video with as many people as you can, because as you know, we have a great man who is going to give us the bio. Most of you go to church together, you worship together, maybe your brother, your sister, but this is a guy in our community that we need to celebrate and really um, showcase his work. So pastor, can you introduce yourself and let people know who you are? Okay, thank you very much, my sister Judy. Um, Reverend Newton Inzai. Uh, I, I was born uh, 39 years ago at the village called uh, Shamahoha Virembe Village, Hamisi uh, constituency is in western part of Kenya. And I'm born again, I'm a father of four, biological. I have two sons and two girls, or, or my elder daughter and, and my son, both were candidates this year, one in, in class eight and the other one, uh, uh, for, she, she's still doing form four. Uh, first, uh, I'm a pastor at the church called the African Divine Church. Uh, most of people that have been watching my videos done in those uh, gowns, that's African Divine Church. And I want to thank God for my spiritual dad, who is my archbishop, John Lege Chabuga, and, and also uh, Reverend Livingston, Livingston Amata. So I was born in Vihiga County. I'm, I'm a lawyer by a tribe. I went to the Rembe Primary School, my sister, and I also I went also to Gahumbo Primary School and also to Kibilenyi Primary School, not because I was the, uh, poor in, in, in learning, but because of life. You know, my father died at the age of uh, nine years. So mm -hmm. I used to look for relatives to help me get education. So I, I, I just started going here and there, talking to relatives, how I can get it, because life was so hard to me, because my father died at the age of nine, and by that time, my mom left our home because she refused to be inherited by, by my uncles. So life mm -hmm. was very hard to me. But I want to thank God because even the English I'm speaking today is by the grace of God because mm -hmm. I didn't get any education, any quality education. But for the mistake of the, the death came into our family, I'm trying to work extra hard to make sure my children are getting uh, better education. So I'm um, serving God. I have a church at Kangemi, Nairobi. And mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank God. Yeah, I want to thank God because I have a church at Kangemi at Nairobi. And also I'm, I'm preaching through also music. I'm singing, I'm doing gospel songs and I'm um, doing this, it as a passion to me. Yeah. Now, if, if I know you're very strong in music and yeah. um, I follow you, I love your music. And I want the world to really celebrate your music. What is it that really motivated you into singing? Because not many people can sing. What is it that when you walk up just made you feel like, oh my God, when you hear the music, you just, it becomes, you know, it's something that is easy, that comes easy to you. You see, uh, my sister, uh, uh, you know, our church used to, to go to the road, you know, doing crusade on the road and when i was young at the age of 12 i was a sunday school teacher and i used to sing a lot in church in church you know and then thereafter i decided myself i want to leave a legacy despite the weakness that all the what i faced in my life some years back but i want to change my generation you see i want to leave a legacy and to leave a legacy is to do music so i used to listen to music uh, at my neighbor's place, you know, the, those years back. So we didn't hear that radio at home. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I used to hear music from my, our neighbor. There was a principal who was, who, was, who was our neighbor. So I used to hear music sing there. And also I used to go to convention, you know, youth convention yeah. at the age of 13. So I, I started singing at the age of 12. But recording, wow. I recorded my first, uh, my first song, Kijito Chautakaso. Uh, and Otandeka Mwami, which is a, uh, is, a, is a Maragoli version or a Luya version, whichever the case. Then thereafter, I decided I want to, 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 to leave a legacy that my children will, will not, will not that our dad used to sing. So uh, I went to in studio in 2010. I worked for five good years, my sister, five good years without even wow. getting 
think of sent of of doing a video shoot then i talked to my to my uh, church members and friends i want to do a, a video shoot what 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 could i do then then they told me now you have to organize a fundraising you see then the moment i this i i made, i made a fundraising i got 60000 kenya kenya shillings and that's how wow. 600 dollars you know then yeah. my producer they needed 90,000, you know. Now I got six. Then I say, Oh God, you are miracle working God. You see, then yeah. I gave it a deposit. Then we went for a video shoot, a video shoot. So uh, I'm doing music as my passion, and I love music. Let me tell you that I love music. I normally do an extra mic to make sure I'm I'm doing I love music. Let me tell, say the truth. Even when I'm in church, I'm praying one day you come to my church. I normally spend a lot of time worshiping God through music. That's why you see when I when I start singing, I feel that I'm in the in the in the there you see I'm in in another in another heaven. Let me say that. And you know what? You know, and you know, talent, talent is me. I'm one of those people who loves to listen to the music. I had yes. don't have talent in singing, but I love the gospel through music because music is a language that is just soothing. It's soothing to the soul. So when people sing and I'm going, I'm just, you know, you feel like that Luya uh, dance just start coming rejoicing. in rejoicing. and yeah. you start, you know, moving. And as you move, um, you know, you you praise God and everything comes through. So um, give us some of the songs that you have done in Luya. You can sing like one little paragraph or something that people can see. Um, there is a song that I did uh, uh, last year during the Corona period. It's called Zimerera. Zimerera, Zimerera, Mwami Aran Zimerera. Rogendo Rogere Raruga Sizam, Mami Aranzi Merida. Yeah, you know, I'm already dancing. I'm already dancing, going Zimera. dancing, yeah. Those are actually, that is one of the songs that really, when you really sang it, it touched, mm -hmm. it touched me. And you yeah. know how it touched me? I think it, mm -hmm. it was because it was in Luya. And I know mm -hmm. you do a lot of Swahili songs too. But yeah. those Luya yeah. songs, somehow they touch other people. You know, people are different. I'm just talking about myself. They touch mm -hmm. me in a way that uh, I can't really explain. Now, um, with the ministry, what are some of your challenges? I'm sure as a pastor, um, I'm sure you go through challenges uh, that if you can share some of your challenges. Uh, in ministry, sir, we are facing a lot of challenges. That's number one is uh, when you are doing like music, when you are doing like music, uh, you'll find that um, financial problem, yeah? You know, you can't go into studio, recording music uh, is somehow very expensive. That's what you normally uh, face the challenge. But I normally organize myself. How am I organizing myself? It's just when I, I have been talking to my producers, tell my producers, producer, okay, this is the little that I'm having. Let me do programming. Then after programming, uh, okay, let me come and do recording when I get another uh, small amount. Then thereafter, you'll find me that, uh, then I'll go for, uh, collect my music, my content. Then thereafter, I'll have to, uh, to, to also plan myself. And the challenges that are all over there. Some people, they don't accept people with salad in their churches. Others are not very supportive. But we thank God for those people that God has given them to us. They are supporting us by, by doing our music in YouTube, doing, uh, doing our music in Viewsas. You know, we have some people that God has given to them. The moment they are doing our music online or subscribing to, to our channel, then we, uh, that, that's our joy, you know? You know, we, we see now God is working in our life. But I want to say that uh, we have a lot of challenges that we are, we are, we are, we are doing. And besides that, my sister, you know, mm. being a pastor also, I'm a, I'm a volunteer doing guiding and counseling to one of the groups uh, of women having cancer, you know, 
So mm. I normally schedule myself. Sunday, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing uh, my, my, my job as a pastor. And also on, uh, on Saturday, I'm meeting women uh, with cancer. You know, you know, giving them guiding and counseling. They call that group uh, the Lady Hope. But I thank God because being a man of God, you, if you, you, you remain silent, the community is silent, you know? Because yes. also artists, when the artists are silent, people normally ask themselves, uh, no, now, what, what is he doing now? But without know, knowing that, there is, we are facing financial challenges, marketing. And you know, them, this marketing, we have these people, we call them... Uh, we call them what? Piracy. Piracy is a lot. In, all over the world, we have piracy, piracy, piracy. So there's that is nothing true. There. Yeah. So that's the challenges that we are facing. One is marketing. One is piracy. One is those people who can stand with us. But we, we normally ask, when you do it as a passion, you will not suffer a lot. You know, my sister, you will not suffer a lot because I'm doing it as a passion. The time, God's time is the best. God will, will send someone that will come and support this ministry. But for True. now, I'm doing this as a, minister, as a ministry and as a passion. Yeah. And I think that is one of the things that I noticed um, uh, a lot of us in Luya Land, a lot mm -hmm. of the artists in Luya Land, a lot of the people with the talent in Luya Land are facing. It is the resources. And this, I will say over and over again, Abanavitu, the biggest tribe in Kenya. Let the truth be known. Luyas are the biggest tribe in Kenya, but yet so marginalized that Chigira ku support and And we get the support. He supported the Konora, Madikuma Nyingi Bandu, Kuri Pastor Vanora, Okori Gasindai, Okori Gasindai. Very few people from Mana plant a seed there. They plant the right seed, Yani the Koromba, so that it can grow. So you guys reach out to Pastor uh, Kokore what we can so that we can support them in any ways possible um, in terms of growing music. Music is the easiest ministry you can think of because um, through the words they write and speak and sing, it gives you an extra joy that you cannot always find. Do you have anything else? my sister. Especially, county. Very. Very Baza Vakuranga, the upcoming artist. Kemi Chokotanga, Bakore Gasu, Bimbi Kore Gasena Sai. Yes. And God, God will bless them. Yes. Bimbi Walaba Zanga, Koza Kemba Konore the same. In the Kutra Mwega Gua 2010, uh, last year, two years, oh no, 2018, Roland Atanga Konoro Kumangondo Gaskiza tune. Ata Ija Pita 15,000, you know. Like ten thousand, because no joke on a compound from Fano Convenus Quam Banada. Canova Lamin be when I call a collaboni, Rakova and Donga Cocora collab. So go to Kumana. Nana Sai Aqua Kia, no Chenekina, Nana Kutungiziki. So Kona Mangana Mala that Gaka Gako de Kanga, Kubimbi Vito, Gata Bemarahida. But Corregas, Corregas and Asai. 
na nasaya mabagasi. Bako wale gasi, kuri gasi nasaya, nasaya rawagasi. Kusana kuwa wale kwamba kwa support ya na kwa nireme. Alafka anembole bi wazi wawe maganisa. This is a ministry. Wala bi imbi wawe maganisa gawo, wagengori bi imbi wawe maganisa gawo. Na bi imbi wawe maganisa. Wasishikwa na kiburi cha, cha, cha kudharao pia wa, wa baba wa chungaji wawo. Na mungu wata wabariki sana. I, 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 I concur with you. Well said. Well said. Oh, and, and that thing I see. No, let's promote each other. The first thing is, I wonder where now, who's any talent there? Nisendi, nizindi, nisendi ziraza. Nuwe tuli zaza kapisa, muwe mbi, mawando bakorore. I always believe, omundo afana tulaza habo undu. Ma everybody, God has an angel for everybody. And when you look like no artist, more 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 the corner. One of the things I always know is no koni abandu, no no koni kokore kendo. Nasaya mana kuira nira in a different way. Kari i support though though iburi kutura kuvalusha. And as I bring you guys on, I'm hoping that Kuravane Coalition being live in Los Angeles, they get to know. That's why I'm speaking some English because I need some of my followers here in America to be able to understand what I'm saying so that they can adapt and uplift you with time. But uh, all I can say is, asana sana, uh, pastor, I'm going to go over the Gakuna and uh, um, let's continue to support our talent. Um, when I come to Kenya, I do want to visit the church so we can. Uh, most, and now we're you know, that maybe I may lose two pounds. That yeah. would be a blessing. Uh, Kavole, your listeners, and then we'll call it a night. Okay, Kavole, listeners, I want to tell people this. Monica uh, Mitchell supporting each other, not only on music or in ministry alone. I want to tell people this. I want to tell people this. I want to tell people this. I want to tell to make sure we are supporting them. Are you getting me? And yeah. I want to tell my, my, my people, like me, uh, me, I'm living in a slum. Let me be sincere on this. And I'm doing music. And in this slum, we have some women with the cancer. And I normally work with them, giving them hope, you know, telling them you'll overcome. So when mm -hmm. people, when we are in a society as, a, as ministers or as ministers, let us come out. It doesn't matter what you have. Like in, there's something you can offer uh, to the society or also to your family. So finally, you can get my music in View Sasa. You can get my music in, in YouTube. You can get my music in Mduno.com. You can get my music in Boomplay. And also you can uh, get my music in, uh, on iTunes. And God will, play, will bless you. And when you come to Kenya, you are free to visit our church. And I want to say also thank you to my church members. I know they are watching us wherever they are. They told me, Pastor, we want to see Judy live and we want you to, to see you talking to people at, uh, at Los Angeles from Kenya, Africa, Canada to Los Angeles and the entire world. I say thank you for your time. And I want to say uh, my, my sister Judy and uh, ATLE TV with the, for giving me this platform. I say may God bless you. Na mungu anenda kufungua anga ya kipeke. Let me tell you, tell you my sister. And I'm prophesying to you this evening. Mbingu ya kipeke itaenda kukufungukia. Na nimenyenyekea sana nikasema tu asante Mungu akubariki kwa kunipa nafasi ya kuongea na wale wa Kenya ambao wako dunia mzima wala wako uh, Marekani, Canada, Africa, Kenya. Ume, umenipandisha kiwango And Middle kipeke. East we have a lot of followers and in Middle East and everywhere. Na mimi naambia yeah. tu wale wa Kenya mahali popote wapo you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. There is another song that is coming. And I want to sing it here. You listen to it before you go. This song, Tulgot Naimba Kitambo, and it's a remix I have done it, my sister. And I would like that day, you'll be the first person to launch this music. What do I sing? 
uh, mm, this songs inaimba hivi ni song ambayo tumeitengeneza lakini bado video yake uh, inakuja sema shughuli moja na Ah, mbele wa Yesu shukuri moja na haleluya mwigulu uyanzi wonyene ah mwigulu wa Yesu uyanzi wonyene haleluya mwigulu so tunaandaa tu ya tunajiandaa kwa hii safari oh my god live from los angeles i am so blessed to have you pastor and Thank um you. and everybody's listening if there's any kind of support you can give to the women with cancer let's do it to the ministry let's do it to the to the music ministry as well as the regular ministry let's do and it also, and also my sister we are doing we are, we are doing empowerment for them you know we are the yes. wanashona vitu vya kushona nashona you know and ili wapate some of them they get supplements because uh, you know kwa sababu ya ile maisha yako pale chini everything that somebody has can support them anaweza kuja na tumpatie and also we call that group the lady hope wellness institute na iko tu hapa kangemi katika mtaa wa kitazuru na Mungu ametubariki na tumeleta pamoja wa mama ambao wako na saratani na tumewaleta pamoja tumekuwa tukiwasapa na tuanga tuna tunanunua matisha tuna print we sell them we do cancer like we do a like, uh, walk a walk tunawachangia changia kidogo kidogo ili mwanamke akiwa na furaha katika akiwa na furaha if a woman can afford uh, 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 a smile on her face then the, the, the whole society will have a smile so that's Amen. what you are fighting for and that's what we are doing so may god bless you, my sister sina la kukuambia asante sana bana bitu karibu tena kana abandu bogona mgone burahigu na bandu who are awake have a blessed day live from los angeles Wake amen god bless you god bless you na karibu tena kana ni assembly ole mboendi yes welcome to kana ni assembly Yes. Yeah, I well, will be blessed to come there the next time I'm in Kenya. I will make it one of my trips and before blessing it, I have heard what you've said and let's pray on it and let's see what God will do to bless. Anybody anywhere around the world if you can take this as a mission to help, please do. Mgonebrahi asante. <laughs>